This topic will be discussed in four videos. This is part two of four. See links below for part one. Part two starts at the three minute mark. You've heard of the dark night of the soul. You know you're in it, but you're wondering why is it lasting so long? What I'm gonna talk about today are, are certain things that are contributing to the reason why it's lasting so long. Hi there, beautiful souls. I'm Michelle Duquet. Welcome to my channel, Soulful and Unplugged, a channel about the spiritual awakening journey where I show you how to live a more joyful life by helping you navigate your human journey through your soul's perspective. And this is Roxy. <laughs> Hopefully she'll stick around for the video, but she may not. So before we get going, I just want to tell you that this is part of a spiritual awakening series I created and the playlist for that I will link right up here as well as in the descriptions below. So check out the chapters down there and click on any one of them and it'll take you right to the topic that you're most interested in. It's a self-loving thing to ask for help. And sometimes we do need outside help. The dark night of the soul can be extremely debilitating and I would encourage you to seek help. And for those of you who aren't quite sure what a dark night of the soul is, it's a time of profound transition in your life where you start to become aware of parts of yourself that are no longer serving you. It's a time of deep transformation where you begin to honor who you are by opening up to your connection to your soul. I have gone through my own dark night of the soul and I know what I had to go through to get myself to the other side and I did I did seek help I found a beautiful loving therapist and I did gestalt therapy for a couple of years and um, it was immensely helpful to carry me through to the rest of my dark night journey What I want to talk about today is something that's been coming up quite a bit in the comments. Um, and I think it's because a lot of people are having a really hard time during this uh, period of transition globally and through the chaos and all of the mixed energies that are really bombarding us daily. It's, it's a pretty tough road that we're on. And um, what is happening is a lot of people are still in the dark night of the soul. They're wondering why is it lasting so long? Why is it so difficult, so painful? And while yes, that is the dark night of the soul, what I'm going to talk about today are, are certain things that are contributing to the reason why it's lasting so long. The second thing that's going on during the dark night of the soul is that we're facing our own darkness. And one of the things that can happen is that we end up getting sucked, sucked by, by it. it. It's kind of like a black hole. The energies are revealing in a way that is quite shocking sometimes. We see our own character defects. We see our own flaws and our own 3D programming and it can be so jarring. We get so stuck in just the vibe of that, the frequency of that, because the frequency can be quite negative, quite shadowy. So that's what's called doing shadow work. You bring the shadows to light, but as the shadows come to light and we see clearly what is going on within our subconscious and what is going on within us, some of it is really negative and dark and we get stuck, stuck looking at it, stuck being in that lower frequency vibration. It's part of it. It is part of the journey. I mean, you do have to go through it and not resist it for sure it's not necessarily what our soul wants for this dark night of the soul journey it's for us to see it clearly and to heal it and clear it through love through eyes of love through eyes of forgiveness through eyes of compassion if what comes up is the ego criticizing what we discover judging what we discover then we do get lost in this shadow in this darkness 
It's about loving us, having compassion for us, finding forgiveness. Yeah, that was pretty dark. That's not so great. But you know what? I will work on forgiving and loving and having compassion and releasing and detaching. That's part of the reason why we go through the dark night of the soul is to have these moments of discovery, not to get lost in it. This was the second video in a series of four. Here's a preview of the next video. So another reason we can stay a long time in the dark night of the soul is that we're resisting let it go of attachments. And attachments can be anything from attachments to who we are, attachments to things, our identity through work or through who we think we are, attachment to relationships, attachments even to a twin flame or the idea of a twin flame or a search for a twin flame, that is an attachment in itself. The best thing we can do for this twin flame journey is to work on ourselves, on healing ourselves, on expanding our consciousness. So it's still about us making it through the dark night of the soul.